Hi, welcome back. Today I'm gonna make Spätzle. It's a southern German, um, usually used as a side dish, uh, noodle. Well, technically it's a dumpling, but it really is a noodle in my book. So, let's get right to it and go skip the junk. Okay, so we have flour. It's about one and a half cups worth. We have three egg yolks, three whole eggs. Uh, traditional recipes call for water. I tend not to use water because they're much better with just eggs. Okay, so I just put some salt into the flour. Maybe I should grab a spoon and stir that. So the basic recipe is salt, flour, eggs and water. You don't need more. And for me, I try to skip the water. So in go the whole eggs and the egg yolks. Looks to me like I'm gonna have a little bit too little flour, but we'll see. No, actually, it's good. You will have to add a little water. So let's do that. Just a little bit. Keep some here in case we need more. What's the deal here with this? It's maybe not the proper tool. Traditionally, you would do this by hand, but I was just too lazy. Because what you want to have is some air going into it. But no, this isn't going to cut it. Look at this mess. Okay. Look at the mess. Look at it. It's horrible. Okay, let's clean that up. Keep in mind, if you're using your hand mixer, use dough hooks. It's probably going to be the better attachment for this. I'm just going to switch. Yes, much better. You need a little bit more water and make a little bit more of a mess. This is so much fun. Yes, see now it's dripping. Look at it. This is better. This is the right consistency. All right, this is step number one. So you have the dough. What you need now is liberally salted water on a slow boil in a fairly large pot. You will need a slotted spoon or something like that to pull it out. And of course, you will need a Spätzlehobel. Spätzlehobel. You can buy them online. It's really the tool to have. It's a uni task, I, I know, but no, actually, actually you can use it for a few things, but it's pretty much a whole thingy and a little funnel. And what it does is, see that? So you put the dough in here and let it drip into the water and actually so that it doesn't stick I usually rub a little bit of oil on it and then you need a, a second bowl like this one and your slotted spoon and to evacuate so I'll 
head over to the stove where my water is already boiling, set up the cameras and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back over here at the stove. Here's my Spätzli, Spätzli, Spätzli Hobel. It's already oiled lightly here on the surface. There's the water on a really slow boil. Some of the oil dripped in, but that's fine. And here's my extra vessel and the thing to fish it out with. Alrighty, so the, the whole process is really simple. You gotta work quickly, otherwise this stuff sets up like cement. So work in batches like this, batch number one. So normally they're, they're done the moment they swim up. So these are already swimming up. So they don't take long to cook. It's only a few minutes. So usually they're almost cooked by the time you're done getting them through the Spätzlihobel. Okay, let me see what they taste like. Oh yeah, they're fully cooked. All right, let's evacuate the batch, the number one batch. Okay, now let's do the same with the rest of our dough and we're already done. Alright, this is how you make Spätzli. I'm gonna have more recipes using those things but today we're gonna just have them like that as a side like you would use other pasta or rice or something like that all right i hope you like this episode click subscribe if you want to and uh, hit that little notification bell thing so you get notifications and then i see you in another episode bye what